Hi, I'm Kaz from What's New in Electronics. I'm at Electronica 2022 and today I'm joined by Chris from TDK. Good to see you. Hi, nice to meet you Kaz. How is it going? How's the show? Day two? It's amazing. <laughs> honestly, honestly. It's, we miss it. Yeah. I've, having all Covid, I'm sure you'll get this from everyone, but um, it's special being able to talk to people face to face and see see their eyes and see their smiles you get so much more from it so um, I'm thoroughly loving it absolutely and I suppose from, from the point of view being in four years of not been having as you say that hands-on engagement with yeah. your customers yeah it's it, uh, for, for me it, it, having that direct contact it, you're trying to establish relationships and a lot of these people that you meet are friends now mm-hmm. over years so it's good to catch up and share stories, and uh, and we've got something in common. We we've all had this COVID thing over the last few years, and so we can sympathise it as well. And obviously, with the industry in terms of the conversations of supply chain and other elements of supply shortages and spill gap, <laughs> yeah. we're going to look at something different today. So I hear you've had a product launch as of yesterday, yes. which, which is <laughs> yes. in front of us here. Do you want to tell us a little bit more? So so this is um, it's a power supply. Okay. We call it MU. So MU it stands for modular, um, and U is one U high. So that's the one U height. Mm-hmm. And modular it means that we have these modules inside the unit that we can actually uh, change, okay. depending on the requirement of the customer. And so um, it gives the customer ultimate flexibility. So typical applications that this will be going into would be say medical applications. So, which is obviously important over the last uh, few years. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, any uh, monitors uh, for patients um, or laser sort of treatment on yeah. on skin, then this sort of thing that would, you'd actually use. But there's a few sort of unique things, which I know you're dying to, oh, to yeah. ask. <laughs> Do few... tell, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for asking. <laughs> so, there's a few unique things in here. Okay. So, um, so you can see the fan yes. at the bottom. Now, it's a small fan. And believe it or not, a small fan gets very whiny. Right. It, it makes a, it doesn't make a nice noise. And if you're a patient in a bed, mm-hmm. you don't really want to be disturbed by a lot of noise. So we have a patent pending on controlling this fan. So we don't run the fan up to full speed. Mm-hmm. We actually control mm-hmm. the, the, the airflow uh, going through. So we actually monitor each one of these four modules. So. Each one of these could be a 5 or a 12 or a 48 volt or a 24 volt uh, module. So these are being temperature sensed. We also have another one here measuring the, the mains input as well. Uh, any one of these can call for cooling. And when they, maybe they, 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 they're getting hotter because maybe there's a, there's a higher load on one of those. So it's say, right, I'm getting a bit hot. I need a bit more air. Yep. Okay, and then it talks to the fan and then the fan speeds up, but okay. not Digitally, it will just gradually speed up, so it doesn't increase the noise so much. But it will cool the module down, yeah, and then it will just slow back down again. So this is why it's key for yeah. uh, for noise. And we talk about 36 dB, and that's a typical yeah. sort of noise level that is experienced within inside a, a, a medical ward. Yes. And this is designed to go inside a bit of equipment, so it's even quieter when okay. it when it goes inside. And so the feedback, I mean, obviously it's only launched yesterday in terms of being here and as you say, being back at an event where people can actually see, you can talk through the process. What's that been like so far? I have to say it's been really good, really good. I know it's not too descriptive, but there's a lot of interest. Um, particularly with power supplies where the load that we're supporting is, is critical, it's a patient. Okay, or it's going into an industrial application and it's supporting a factory line. If it goes down, then there are, there are some big issues. And the nice thing is, is particularly with, with TDK power supplies, the reliability is well known in industry and that's what they're kind of re- appreciating. But one of the, the good things as well, particularly being a UK um, uh, citizen, it was designed and will be manufactured in the UK as well. Well, that's something to definitely talk about, isn't it? And as you say, it's making it much more human from a point of view where somebody can actually relate to this. And I think as you go back to relating to COVID and all the experiences that we've had collectively, there's something that actually people can 
empathise with more than anything. Exactly. And so looking forward, looking ahead, TDK, anything else coming up over the course of the show in 2023? <laughs> oh, so you, you want a scoop? Oh, a little scoop, that'd be great. We can put that out. Yes, there is coming. But Excellent. I, I can't, oh, I my can't goodness. give you too much. <laughs> but the, the great thing is that we've got a lot of investment going into the UK, so I'm not sure how public that is, but our Brilliant. factory, which is in North Devon, beautiful part of the world, um, that's getting over £11 million pounds worth of investment. Uh, which shows commitment for UK manufacturing, which is amazing. And that will double our production space. And this is going, uh, that's part of that plan, is to go into, uh, into that space. Fantastic. Um, and we've got some new models coming amazing. forward. Amazing. But it's a bit too early just to, to, talk, to, about. Just to talk about. To talk about, Absolutely. But in terms of that investment, would you say, in terms of education, in terms of the next generation of engineers that are coming in, from specifically from the UK, is that something also that TDK oh. are looking into? Absolutely, we have a scholarship program, so we have um, engineers, young engineers from university, they can apply for a scholarship and we'll help them through that university stage. Um, and of course we'll give them on-spot the training, they come to our company, we, we help them out. Yeah. Um, but we also, we understand that sometimes engineers may not want to go to North Devon, mm. so we also have a Bristol Technical Centre as well. So if somebody wants a bright lights in cities of Bristol, then our engineers can also go there. So we have two technical centres there as well, which is really good. Exciting times. Thank you so it, it much is. for your time. Thanks very much. Thanks, Chris. Thank Cheers. You.